Hello, sports fans and football fans. I got a nice football game for you today. This is a throwback game. We're going to go back to the 1968 AFL. And we're going to have the Miami Dolphins taking on the Houston Oilers. And I'm going to take the Houston Oilers in the game. So uh, let's get on with the game. First of all, we have to play the first week. The other games, I have to run through those as a matter of procedure. And then they will bring up my game. Now, I guess we have to... All right, here we go. And, um, yes. No, this is 19, sorry, 1968 Houston against 1968 Kansas City, not Miami. So we will launch that game. And uh, we are kicking off. Now, of course, Kansas City was an extremely good team in 1968. So we are going to have to see how that translates for us. All right. So who do we have a quarterback? I don't even know. Oh, oh, the who do they have? Len Dawson. I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to do the 4-3. I'm going to do um, balanced on the first play and they run the ball and we stop them stop them pretty quickly they only got one yard i'm gonna go you know what i'm gonna go run i'm just gonna go plain run i think they'll run the ball and they do and we stop them again so they've got a third and nine and now definitely we're going to put in the pass defense i'm not going to put in anything specific I'm just going to put in a pass defense. And Len Dawson has an incompletion, and they will punt. So we're going to get a chance to see that vaunted 1968 Houston offense real soon. And Carwell on the return, I'm going to try to return it because we are playing a very good Kansas City Chiefs team. And um, our uh, quarterback is Bethard. So let's see. Granger, W. Campbell, which is not the Campbell I'm thinking of for Houston. So I don't know. I don't know many of these guys. Uh, let's try a flat pass to the split end on first down. And that's incomplete. Uh, I'm going to go short. Short to the tight end. And he just misses it. So it's third and ten. We're going to go short again, this time to the flanker. Got to pick this up. A flat pass wouldn't have done it, and really, that doesn't do it. He's 0 for 3 on passing, and we are going to punt the ball back to Kansas City. And they get it deep. They have a first and 10 at their own 11. I'm going to put in the balanced again, because it worked on first down last time. And they do, they run outside this time, and this time they get some good yards, four yards. I am going to do, I'm going to look for the run. I'm, you know, it strikes me that this Kansas City team is a running team, even though Len Dawson was a very good quarterback. They got a third and two. I am going to, I'm going to, you know what, I'm going to do run, and I'm going to key on Haynes. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. He's not a guy that runs a lot. Yeah, they gave it to Holmes. I keyed on the wrong guy. All right, so they got a first and 10 at the 25. I'm going to put in the pass. It's about time that they pass, and they don't. 
They're going to try to keep running the ball at this Houston defense. All right, I'm going to put in the run. It's second and four. They got six yards on first down. But now they do pass. And it's complete, and they get a first down. But I'm not fooled. I think they're going to go back to the run. And I'm going, to, I'm going to look for Holmes running the ball again. And it's the wrong. It is. I got the right guy in everything, and he still got five yards. That tells you just how good this team is. All right, I'm going to, I'm going to look for the run. That's why. I mean, these guys have 10 yards of carry. And, um, I mean, if I had that in my backfield, I'd run a lot, too. Third and five, uh, you know, I'm going to go balanced. Balanced defense. And we sacked Len Dawson, so they'll have to punt again. They have a fourth and nine from their own 38. And it looks like we're content to just let the ball rest right there at the two-yard line. So we got it first and 10 at our own two. I'm going to do line buck with the fullback. I mean, they got to be looking for the run. And I don't know if they were, but we got a lot of yards on that seven. So I'm going to go off tackle with a halfback. And he gets the first down. So we got a first down. We got a little bit of breathing room here. I'm going to go off tackle with a fullback. Maybe we have to run the ball. I mean, because we're getting a lot of yards doing it. Second and four. We got six yards on that. I'm going to go line buck with the quarterback, Bethard. Dude seems to get some good yards. And he got a first down and a little more. So first and ten. Let's now let's change it up a little flat to the tight end. And that's going to be incomplete. Now, obviously, this guy can't complete a pass, but... We're going to go off tackle with the fullback. And second die in there, offsides. And I'm going to accept the penalty for sure. So now we have a second and five. I'm going to go uh, line buck with the halfback. And we get practically nothing there. One yard. Third and four. I'm, you know what, I'm going to go line buck with, with Granger, the fullback. And they stop us in the backfield. Fourth and four. All right, we're punting the ball. I mean, I like to go for fourth downs, if you know me. I do like to occasionally go for fourth downs, but I'm not going to do it here. That's crazy. That's just crazy talk. And we're going to down the ball at the 35 of Kansas City. So he has a first and 10 at his 35. I'm going to put it the pass on first down. I just got a hunch. And no, he still runs the ball. I'm going to put in the run. And now he passes it. And he's going to get a lot of yards, too. First and 10 at midfield for Kansas City. I'm, I'm going to run and key on Garrett. I'm going to put in the run and key on Garrett. And that looks like it's going to be incomplete. Good thing he was going for the bomb. Second and 10. Minute 39 left in the first quarter. He's got a first and 10 at the 50. I am going to just put in the run. I think he's going to run the ball. And he does. And we don't get him. He ran it right up the gut. And we were looking for the run. And he still got it. I mean, I guess if you know you got a running game like that, you can do that. And again, we were looking for the run. And he still managed to get six yards. We're going to run and key on Hayes. And Garrett has the ball. So he gets the first down. First and 10 at hour 24 for Kansas City. We're going to look for the pass. And the, finally, we're right. 
We're looking for the pass, and we're right. And he still gets a first down and a lot more and a touchdown. So Dawson throws it into the... Uh, into the uh, end zone. We'll put in just general kick defense. And he makes it. I like the old school um, goal posts, too. So, Kansas City's up 7 nothing and kicking off to us with 14.40 left in the second quarter or in the half. And we're going to have it on the, for a touchback. I'm going to go line buck with the fullback. The running was working good last series. And uh, we got some good yards, too. Five yards on that. Um, I'm going to go line buck with Campbell, the halfback. And he doesn't get hardly anything. He gets no gain, in fact. All right, uh, let's go. Let's go flat to the tight end. Bethard looking for, I believe, his first completion of the game. And is that complete? It is. So we've got a first down. I'm going to go off tackle with the halfback. Of course, this eats time, too, and it keeps the Kansas City offense off the field. And we got a lot of good yards again, six yards on that. We got a second and four at our own 37. I'm going to go line buck with a halfback. And this time he's hitting the backfield, it looked like. Well, at the line, so he got no gain. Third and four, I am going to go draw play with Bethard. Ew, they got him. They got him right at the line again. All right, I'm going to have to punt the ball. This is not a very good Houston offense. The defense isn't too bad. We're holding Kansas City of 1968 to seven points uh, with 1044 left in the half. That isn't too bad. But um, he's got a first and 10 at the 25. But um, it really is, uh, well, I was looking for the run, so we stuffed it. He's got a second and eight. But it, it's going to be tough with... Um, And we got him. We got him in the backfield. So third and nine. With this offense, it'll be tough. So I'm going to put in the pass defense. He's got a third and nine at his own 26. You would think he has to pass, and he is. Lenny D. And it's going to be, in, is it incomplete? Yeah, it is. Good. So they will punt. We'll put in the punt return. 8.59 left in the half. I am going to try to return it. Can't afford to let it pat. Or, whoa, I guess I did just let it drop. Um, let's try a long pass on first down. Let's see if we can catch him napping. Kansas City defense is going to intercept the ball. I could have seen that coming. See that developing. All right, we're going to put in the run defense. He's got a first and 10 at our 46. We stop him, but he gets five yards. Uh, we're going to put in the run again. This time he's passing. Another thing, though, is Len Dawson's not as good as I thought he was. Uh, we're going to put in the run. First and 10 at the Houston 32. We do stuff him. Well, not really stuff him, but he got three yards. Second and seven at the Houston 29. This time I'm going to look for the pass. No, he ran the ball, but we did stop him. Third and three. I, You know, I got to think he's going to run the ball. And he does, but we don't stop him. First and ten at the Houston 19. I'm going to look for the run. There's 541 left in the half. We really need a mistake by Kansas City, like a fumble or an interception or something.
and he stopped in the backfield for minus one yard. No, for one yard. He got a yard. All right. Third and five, I'm looking for the pass. We're going to look for the pass, hope that the defense can stop the run if they do it. But they do pass, and we don't stop him, and he gets another touchdown. So it will soon be 14-0 Kansas City, but there was a flag on the play. Kansas City will be kicking off, so I don't know. It was, I guess it was against us, and he got five more yards closer, and we're just going to take it on uh, 25. Uh, I'm going to go short to the flanker. I mean, we got to try to get back into this game. Whether Beathard is good or not, we've got to pass. And he gets the first down. That may be his... Let me check and see if that is his... Um, first completion. I might have missed it otherwise. No, it's his second completion. He's 2 of 7 for 20 yards. Dawson is 5 of 9 for 64 yards. So it's not like either quarterback is burning up the world here. Um, I'm going to go line buck with a halfback. And he gets a yard or two, two yards. Second and eight, I'm going to go off tackle with the fullback. He might have. No, he didn't get the first down. Third and three. I'm going to say no timeout, at least not right now. Let's do an end run with the halfback. And if he can outrun the guy, and he can't. And yeah, I forgot. And it does that stupid go to the sidelines thing. Fourth and two. You know what? Fourth and two. I almost want to risk it. I'm going to go pro set. And I'm going to go flat pass to the tight. I mean, you know, I got no vested interest. We're not running a season here. So, and it's incomplete. He blew it. All right. I'm going to look for the run. Minute 52 left, and we were looking for it. But we didn't get him, I don't think, before he got out of bounds. Second and nine. Going to look for the run. And uh, Dawson going deep. And he's connecting. Are you kidding me? With Otis Taylor. All right. We're going to look for the run. And we, uh, you know, three yards. But down here, three yards is a lot. We're going to look for the run. 14 nothing, And he's passing for a touchdown, and it's 21 nothing. And we got a sorry offense, so that doesn't bode well. That, that whole thing just does not bode well. And they are kicking off to us. I'm just going to run the clock out. Off tackle with the fullback, Granger. And we got one yard there. I'm going to go line buck with, full, with the uh, halfback. We got, uh, what did we get, a yard, another yard there. So third and eight, 15 seconds left. I'm going to put in the uh, blocking halfback. And we're going to do a line buck with Campbell. And eight seconds left, I'm going to punt the ball. And hopefully he doesn't, he doesn't have time to get another score before the half, but I, I would tend to doubt he will. Unless he returns this for a touchdown, which he just might, but he didn't. Still, he's in our territory. There's one second left, and he's going to try a field goal. And I'm going to go kick block. But he's got Jan Stenerud doing this. And he makes it. He makes it. 
So he got three points to close out the half. 24 nothing, And he's kicking off to us. Well, at least we got the ball, but, I, you know, 24 nothing, And the way this offense is playing, I don't like it. We return it to the 26 or the 21, so we're going to have a first and 10 at our 21. Uh, I'm going to go flat pass to the tight end. And that's incomplete, I think. Yeah. Going to go line buck with the fullback. And he gets no yards, or he gets one yard. All right, we got to try a short pass. We're going to go short to the split end. And here comes a guy that's going to sack the quarterback. And we're going to punt the ball. Norton on the punt. Like I said, Kansas City, without Kansas City making mistakes, this is a tough, this was a tough call to, you know, hope we would beat them. I am going to run and key on the halfback. All he really wants to do now is just run the ball. Cer certainly. I mean, that's the best part of his offense, not only, but he, uh, but now he just wants to eat the clock. There's only 12.22 left in the third quarter. And he gets the first down. We were looking for the run. And uh, I am going to, uh, you know what? I'm going to put in the balanced. Let's put in the balanced. That seems to work a lot for us. And it doesn't there. He's got a second and three at our 17. We're going to look for the run. He gets the first down, so he's got a first and 10 at the Houston 13. 10.42 left in the third quarter. I'm going to look for the run again. That time he doesn't get a lot. There's second, second and eight for him. I'm going to run and key on Hayes. Well, at least he's got the second string quarterback in now. Um, third and eight, so... I'm going to go balanced. And we stop him, so he's going to kick a field goal. Put in the kick block for all that'll do for us, which is nothing. And so Stenerud makes it, and it is 27 to nothing. 27 nothing, 8.54 left in the third quarter. Uh, let's try a long pass again, long to the split end. I don't know if it's fooling anybody, but. And he intercepts it again. I mean, he's got as many completions to the Kansas City Chiefs as he does to the Houston Oilers. All right, we're going to put in the run. Lee back to pass. Incomplete, you would hopefully expect that. We're going to go balanced on second down. And he runs the ball. He doesn't get a lot of yards, but he gets four. It's third and six. I'm looking for the run. And Lee passes it, and it's complete to Pitts. All right, so first and ten. They have a first and ten at our 46. I'm going to double team the split end and look for the pass. And he is running, of course. I mean, I don't know what you really think we're going to be able to do, but let's put in the balanced defense. Well, we got him in the backfield. Second and 10, I am going to put in the run. And he does run, and we do get him quickly. So he's got a third and 10 at the Houston 23. Um, now I am going to look, I'm going to put in the pass. And we intercepted, I'm going to try to return it. 
if they give me that option, and they do. And he fumbles the ball. Are you kidding me? You can't make this up. All right. So he's got a first and 10 now at the 33-yard line. I'm going to look for the run. I mean, I know we needed Kansas City to make some mistakes, but kind of needed them to make the mistakes earlier on, and we also needed an offense that was competent and it could actually move the ball, neither of which really happened. So we got a third. He's got a third and two. And I'm going to look for the, I'm looking for the run. I'm looking for the run and I'm going to key on Holmes. And he does it with Holmes and he got the first down. All right. Holmes got six yards, even though we were looking for the run and keying on Holmes. I'm going to look for the run. Three minutes left in just the third quarter. We got Holmes in the backfield. I guess he wanted to make up for it right there and give us a good play. Um, I'm going to look for the run. And that's going to be sizable yards, eight yards on that run. Third and five by um, Kansas City on our 14. I am going to look for the run. There's no reason for him to do anything else. He's in field goal range, and he got the first down anyway. Uh, again, I'm going to look for the run. This is getting boring. I'm looking for the run. I'm right, and he's still moving the ball at, almost at will. Second and goal from the Houston 10, 59 seconds left in the third quarter. I'm going to look for the run. He does, and this time we do get him again. So it's third and goal now from the nine, and I am going to look for the pass this time. No, I'm going to look balanced. I'm going to go look and balanced on this. And it's incomplete, so he will kick a field goal, I would expect. I'm going to put in the kick block. It doesn't work, and he gets another, he tacks on another three, and it is 30 to nothing. Kansas City kicking off to us at the start of the fourth quarter. Mercifully, this game is coming slowly to an end. Nice return, though, by us. But the punter gets us at the 39. So we're going to have a first and 10 at our 39. I will go off tackle with the halfback. I mean, at this point, there's no getting back into this game. We're down 30. Even if you had one of the best offenses in the history of football, you would not get the first down. So, or the, you, you would not come back and win this game. We're going to go short to the split end. And it's incomplete. I thought he was going to come back to the ball and actually catch it, but he didn't. Um, third and six. Third and six, I'm going to go look in to the tight end. I haven't tried to look in pass today. Maybe he can throw that. He cannot, at least not for a completion. Uh, fourth and six, the computer says go for it. Well, yeah, except no. Um, I don't want the game to be any to look any worse than it has to. Winning it is just not even a consideration. It's not going to happen right now. So it's probably what the computer was thinking I might be thinking, but I wasn't. And that was a really nice punt, too. I mean, he, if he's going to get a score, let's make him work for it. I'm going to look for the run. And he passes. And it's incomplete. I'm going to look for the run again. Just the run. Not keying on anybody. Nothing. Ah, he's passing with Lee. He's going off with Lee. And, of course, Lee passes for the first down. Uh, all right, first and 10 at his 22. I'm going to look for the run again. You got to think he's going to go back to this, and he does. And, of course, he gets the uh, nice yardage, even though we were looking for it. Looking for the run again, 11.56 left, 30 nothing. Kansas City with the ball and the lead. And they will have a third and two at their own 30. 
and I am going to look for the run. This time I got a key on somebody. I got to pick someone. I'm going to key on Holmes. And he does give it to Holmes. And finally, we stop Holmes when we keyed on him. And we will put in the punt return. He's going to punt. Houston being shut out. The 1968 AFL Houston Oilers being shut out by the 1968 Kansas City Chiefs. Um, okay, we are going to, we got a first and 10 at the 49. Let's go flat pass to the split end. And it's intercepted for the third. He's it. Let me see. What is that? Three box score. Bethard. Two of 13, but picked off three times. He has more, and now he has more completions to Kansas City than he has to Houston. Um, I am going to look for the run. 10 14 left, and we're going to get Garrett in the backfield. Another guy picks up the fumble, and they're going to just fall on it. Second and 14 after that great defensive play, we're going to put in the run again, run defense again. And it works again. So 922 left, a third and 14. This time I will put in the pass. And he runs it still, but we do stop him. So he will punt the ball. I mean, at this point, I just don't want him adding on to the 30 score that he's got right now. And that was a one hell of a punt. Um, I am going to let the ball bounce. And it bounces to the... Are you kidding? There's no way... Oh, okay. All right. It did bounce in for a touchback. Good. All right. I'm going to go and run with a halfback. A bad halfback, too. He only had average 2.7 yards, but whatever. Second and nine. We're going to go flat. No, I'm going to go draw play with the quarterback, Beathard. And they do get him, but it's third and seven. I'm going to go uh, flat pass to the tight end. He's looking, he's looking, and it is completed for a first down and a little more, too. Fine, that's like the biggest play we've had all day. I'm going to go line buck with the fullback. One guy just missed him. So he got seven yards on that run. We have a second and three at our own 44. We're going to go line buck with a halfback now, blanks. And he gets blanked. Third and two, he got a yard. So third and two. I'm going to go line buck with the fullback. And he does barely get the first down. We have a first and 10 at the 47. I'm going to go off tackle with the fullback. I and mean, he's probably, or a halfback, he's probably looking for the pass, thinking oh, this guy's got to try to get back into the game. But at 30 to nothing with 438 left, are you really getting back into the game? Uh, I'm going to go line buck with Hopkins. We've been working the dog crap out of Hawkins, but you know what? He can get some yards. Third and six, and he makes this manageable, too. We're going to go flat to the tight end. And that was complete, I think, but only for like a yard. Fourth and five, and he's correct. This time I am going to go for it. We're going to go flat to the uh, other wide receiver. And it's incomplete. So he'll take over. First and 10 at his own 48. I'm looking for the run. There is only 307 left in the game, mercifully. We do stop him, but he gets five yards. We're going to look for the run again. I mean, now he's got his like second and third string running backs in. Um, 232 left. He's got a third and six at the 48. I'm going to look for the pass. 
and he runs. And we don't get him before he gets a first down. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, no, I don't think we do. No, nope. first and 10 at the Houston 42. I'm going to look for the run. And we do get him in the backfield. At least he's not trying to score, it doesn't look like. We're going to look for the run. Got all of his backups in. He's doing a lot of running, although there he passes. First and 10 at the Houston 31 for Kansas City. 30 seconds left, and the game is over. Mercifully, the game is over, and let's check the stats on that on this bad boy. Go to the box score. 30 to nothing, you know. Their quarterbacks, Dawson, was 7 of 11 for 102 yards and three touchdown passes. And Jackie Lee was 3 for 8 for 33 yards and an interception. Bethard, for us, was 4 of 16, 35 yards and three interceptions. Rushing the ball, Kansas City had uh, Robert Tank Holmes run the ball 22 times for 78 yards. Mike Garrett 12 times for 35. It seemed like he ran a lot more than that. Wendell Hayes eight times for 52 yards and a 6.5 yard a carry average. And Burt Cohn seven rushes for 21 yards. For us, it was not good. Woody Campbell eight rushes for 17 yards. Hoyle Granger, seven rushes for 25. Sid Blanks, five rushes for six yards. Pete Bethard, three times for nine yards. And Roy Hopkins, three times for 11. I'll let you look at the receiving stats for a second here. Take a good look. Of course, for Houston, there wasn't a lot to look at. For Kansas City, there really was. Of course, we have no scoring, so field goals would be all Jan Stenerud. Field goals and extra points. So there's the game story. You can read it yourselves. Um, we got smoked by the Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, the 1968 Oil Oilers were not that good. Uh, I think they were seven. I think they were seven and seven. Um, but we know the 68 Chiefs were a very good team. So that is it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.